Hey all, this is Chris again. This next video is by Cody and Ross. They ended up seeing this patient who'd come in with this kind of vague right-sided abdominal pain. The, the patient was complaining of right-sided pain uh, for about two days as well as some nausea, but didn't really have a fever or uh, some of the other clues that would make you suspect a uh, specific pathology. So they, what did they end up doing? They ended up ultrasounding everything. I'm not gonna show you the aorta, the gallbladder, or the kidneys, because those were all normal. But when they looked in the right lower quadrant, they found something that we can all uh, get pretty soaked about. It's pretty much the best appendicitis video I've ever seen. So just to review, the appendix is a small tubular structure that comes off the end of the cecal pouch. It lies superficial to the psoas muscles and just lateral to the iliac vessels. It's usually about halfway between the belly button and the right iliac crest. And usually when you're ultrasounding for it, you'll ask the patient to uh, point to where they hurt the most and place the ultrasound probe there. So almost immediately after placing the probe on the skin, Cody found this hypoechoic ring or target-like structure, uh, which he did a really nice job of uh, scanning back and forth in this short axis to confirm that it was a blind pouch. He was able to tell that it was a blind pouch because vascular structures or other tube-like structures keep on going when you move uh, back and forth over them in the short axis. He was able to tell that it wasn't bowel because it doesn't have the characteristic plica circularis or intestinal folds that small bowel would. This little structure also doesn't have any this structure also doesn't have any gas artifact in it like the colon would. The other things that you can notice in the video are the psoas muscle deep to this structure, as well as the iliac vessels lo located medially or on the right of the screen. So looking at another short axis clip of the appendix, Cody does a nice job of uh, checking for compression of the appendix. Theoretically, a normal appendix is compressible, if you can even see it, and a uh, inflamed or pus-filled appendix is not compressible. So the final thing I wanted to highlight is the size of the appendix. A normal appendix is theoretically less than six millimeters. Here we can see that uh, Cody's measured the size uh, from outer wall to outer wall. It's clearly larger than six millimeters. So the other nice thing that Cody did was he turned the probe 90 degrees and reviewed all his findings from short axis in a long axis or different plane. This is always a good practice, uh, no matter what kind of ultrasound study you're doing, uh, because sometimes you can be fooled if you just image something in one plane. So while you take in the, the glory of this long axis view of the appendix, I'm gonna review again. The appendix is usually located on ultrasound or just below uh, where the patient says they have the point of maximal pain. It's usually uh, just lateral to the iliac vessels and superficial to the psoas muscle. An inflamed appendix, or one that's filled with pus, measures greater than six millimeters, is non-compressible, and, and occasionally has some free fluid, uh, either in the pelvis or somewhere else in the abdomen. In fact, you should probably almost always be doing a fast exam as well, and kind of scanning throughout the whole abdomen to look for any abscesses or any other free fluid. So again, congratulations to Cody uh, on pretty much the best appendicitis video I've ever seen.